All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. Sorry we've been taking so long to get the next episode out, but we're finally here with episode seven, and we're at Diamond 2 Division 1 in 2v2, and we're still unranked in 3v3. We got three more matches to go. Hopefully we'll get a threes game, at least one of them in, the, in this, uh, this episode. But before we do get into the episode, we gotta do the meme of the day, and we have Costa with pros and cons. This should be a fun one. All right, so I've got a bit of a pros and cons list here with a guy pondering about his empty list. So we've gotta add some, some pros and cons here. I've got some pros, we've got Reddles. We've got an X-Pro Rizzo, and then we have the GOAT. So let's make this happen. All right, there's two of them, and then we have one more to go. All right, we've got the pros done, and of course, a pros and cons list is not finished, not complete, without the cons. Okay, so here he is. What a beautiful man. I miss you. And there we have it, pros and cons. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's get into the episode. All right, so we did get 2v2. We've got... Uh, I'm not going to say his name. I'll call him Witter. And we got pro RL Profile with Speedster. So decent kickoff goes to the corner. And try and catch this in the corner to keep it safe. It's going to pop a middle too. I probably should go for that. My teammate's going for it. But now this, this is technically open, so I just got to get a good shot on target. So once the one player misses, my teammate tried to get the, the read on the ball. And um, like I know there's a lot of space because the player to my right is too far away in the back corner. So I can just take my time and get a shot down the field. If you don't feel comfortable, Okay, we are getting flips now in Diamond. Um, if you don't feel comfortable going for the open shot, you can always dribble it down the field too. Um, but it is a little bit slower. Also, keep in mind that the more the ball rolls down the wall... this is I'm last here, by the way, but the guy's not going. So I'm going to try and pass this to my teammate. Great try. I would say that positioning from him is okay, but it's a little bit ambitious because I have to get a really good pass to him to even make it work. And I might get challenged. So I'm going to take this back corner boost. It's a good shot. Oh. All I gotta do is stay in front of this. I don't have to do anything with the ball. I can just hit it forward. Once again, there's nobody in midfield. I know the other guy was like there, so I could just stay with the ball off the wall. And you can see I have space here. I'm gonna just stay close with the ball. And all I can do is maybe hit it off the backboard and see what they do. So people are now defending the backboard. So it'll be a harder option to use in the future. Now I can stay close to this. So I'm staying present with the, the challenge. Oh, good try. That was a really good play from them. I, I, I definitely could have been back a little bit faster. I see my teammate trying to be play, uh, trying to position for a pass. Once again, his positions, positioning is a little bit ambitious, but I am trying to make it work. He says my bad, but was wasn't the best pass for me. Oh, okay, backboard. So it was a good backboard play from them. I, did, I know I did I did miss flip on the on the wall because I I but then I said that people are defending the backboard, so I feel like I can use that. This ball's bouncing back in the mid for me. I can hit it high up the corner. A speedster is waiting. See, I'm not going to just immediately challenge because he has possession of that. I'm going to get behind my teammate now and see what he does. Okay, so that's a cross. I could get bumped here. This guy might have it again. Doesn't have it. Now I have space in the ball. Let's stay close here. See what this guy does. He's trying to challenge now, which is good. I could have probably popped that as well. Take the back corner boost, though, and just back out. Okay, so we're going to wait for our old profiles in the corner now so we know it's going to bounce decently. We can just wait for it. And there we go. You got to get a good read and a good feel for how the ball is going to bounce early on. I'm going to hit this off the backboard high. Oh, good try for my teammate. Probably does have this, yeah. Uh, I'll say no problem. He, he did do it in team chat, though, so it always looks weird when... I don't like responding to people with quick chats when people have team chats because then it looks like I'm just saying no problem for no reason. Um, same with, like, thanks. Some people, like, are chat locked or something in high level and... They'll say nice shot. I'll say thanks. And then like the other team will get mad because I said thanks to a goal or something as if like I'm thanking them for giving me a free goal. That's not what I'm doing. Got a decent challenge here. We see it goes in. Good aerial. It's going to bounce off the corner and then try to get in mid here. Close. This is scary though because I am last. But now I can turn on this. It's going to pop it up. Good try for my teammate. And good finish. Great pass. Wait. So he has... Wait, yeah, he's not using team chat all the time. I just realized that. That is the first player I've ever seen do that. It's kind of kind of genius, though, to do, like, my bads in team chat, I guess. Okay, so I got time in the corner. My teammate got a demo, so he's going to get a challenge. Good patience for my teammate there. I like that he didn't just immediately turn on that. Okay, this is going to go over to the other guy here. He might cut it off. It's a little bit awkward off the wall, but you can see there's nobody. I'm, I'm keeping my eye on like everybody else um, to see what they're doing. Now that time my teammate wasn't in position for a pass. 
Now this is up the wall once again. I see that he's turning now. I'm just going to get in the way. And grab mid boost here. I'll challenge for my teammate. It's alright that he took that from me. It's like I'm, I'm, I am there. Okay, nobody's going again. So I can wait. Still wait. Go for a pop off the backboard. Good save from RL Profile. This guy's uh, name is interesting. I'm going to fake this. It's not a favorable 50-50 for me to go for that. So instead, what I do is just try to position myself in a spot where it might make him panic. And it does end up working. But obviously, it, it didn't really didn't really result in much. But it, it's better than going into a 50-50 that's really bad. So this guy hit it a little bit hard. So I can try to go for the challenge. Totally fine. And like I said, you can go faster to a lot of this. I'm just trying to play at a, a decent pace. And like you can get a clean win on a lot of these balls. So I'm last year. The guy's off the ceiling. Okay. Nice. So people are trying. This guy's trying to do like ceiling shots and like uh, backboard reads and stuff. But it's not like um, yeah, this guy's going to hit, hit, hit it pretty hard here. It's off backboard. Um, but it's not anything too threatening because he's not really accurate with it. Okay, off the wall. He could follow this. It's a little bit dangerous. I could tell that he was trying to like speed up to the, the ball there. Good try on the turn. Now this ball's gonna bounce at the wall here. And wait if you if you don't feel comfortable going for these aerials to like go for the ball, I would really highly suggest you like learn how to do this and then level out your car with your screen. Um there we go. Good save. If you ever feel like you're uncomfortable in certain situations, like I would go into uh, practice, like into free play or into some training packs and just do those over and over and over again. I remember like when I first started playing the game, back when training, custom training didn't even exist, there was a program that would basically, you could place the car on like a 2D screen and then you could place the ball like in 2D space. You could like set the height that you want to shoot it at. And I would just reset those shots over and over and over again. But anyway, not a bad game. We got D Diamond 2, Division 2 now. Let's hopefully get a 3v3 game. I do want to see 3v3 at least get a rank at some point. It's been seven episodes and we have only played seven games. Okay, we did get 2v2 again, but we got uh, Toxic Frosty. Uh, Al Al VHC, I guess. I don't know how to say that. I just hiccup. my bad. Okay, I'm going to get behind my teammate here. I guess I'm going in front of my teammate now. Okay, he missed off the wall. Guy's doing some wave dashes. Decent challenge. I think Ally VHC is not here anymore. Once again, this is up the wall. That is a little scary because I am like, I am a uh, last man technically at all at all times now because I am one v oneing or one v twoing. My teammate is back though. Let's see what he does. He's staying mid. It's a really good pass. Almost. I'm gonna do a little turn on the di on a dime right here. Just to stay close. And the touch I should let uh, my teammate go up the wall and make something happen. Okay, both of them get out of the play, and then I just go for a shot. Really well played for my teammate uh, to make a, make a play off this wall here and try to air dribble it. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think, I think FS did have a clear, and Toxic Frosty ended up hitting it pretty poorly in mid. <laughs> Either player could have hit that. It's one of those situations where like, both players could have went for it. But both players were in the wrong because they both went. Teammate went. Oh, what, what a touch from me. You like that? <laughs> That's a wild touch for me. I don't know. I, I'm trying to like purposely not hit the ball as cleanly. Look at that. I just popped it up. That's crazy. I feel like... I feel like we could get some some content out of this toxic frosty guy. I bet you if another goal goes in, he's gonna say something. He's the kind of player. This this is the kind of player that just will say stuff about every every goal that goes in. Let's see what happens. Good save. Let's see. Will he say something? That was a decent chip. Basically, I was watching the indicator on the ground. It's really good to like watch the indicator. Dude, I, I think he's going to say something. I, I don't know. I, I feel it. Is he going to say something? Great clear for my teammate. Okay, let's see if he can pass his middle. 
to my teammate to go back here. Okay. So Toxic Frosty missed the, the boost. So I'm just going to push up here and see if my teammate can take the ball now. Oh, he's going for it. Top righties. So right there, I know that there's space for the ball because my teammate missed and then the other player is expecting him to touch the ball. So he he's going for that read. Hits the, he actually smacks off the crossbar. But I had open space to make those shots and that's that's one of the things like I, I take pride in is that I'm very, very consistent with my shots. I try to like be on top of my shot placement. Um, and a good one, if, if you are PC, uh, one of the new Olympics, Eversax Olympics, um, is really good for practicing that. Practicing that. There's, a, there's, a, there's a target shot uh pack it's like the i think it's like the fifth set of levels but it's very very good to get used to uh shot placement and, and being accurate with oh he's gonna say something he's gonna say something it's gonna it's gonna happen it's gonna happen he's gonna say something <laughs> I knew it. He can't resist. <laughs> he called out his points. Uh, guys, I will make a 1v1 lobby. Um, name is uh, 1v1. Password is... Uh, Password is toxic. Let's see if you both show up. <laughs> okay, let's stay with the ball here. <laughs> oh no! I gotta like, I gotta like amp up. I gotta amp up the toxicity. I gotta make each. I gotta make them really want to beat each other. I feel bad that I'm just flicking that in the net, but I, I want to see this 1v1. Okay, I'm going to stay with this here. Because I got space on the wall here. I'm just going to stay close. Both players go. It's totally fine. I'm just going to wait behind. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like this FS guy is not going to show up. I, I think I agree with Toxic. Uh, Toxic Frosty. Um, <laughs> should I... Wait, I should say this. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let's see. What he says. Wait, he left. He left. He left. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Toxic Frosty's here. <laughs> okay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Where is this guy? I don't think these. I don't think he's showing. Well, we tried. I really wish the guy showed up. I really don't think uh, I really don't think he's coming though. Oh man, I wanted to see it because I actually think the other guy was better. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get into the game. Okay, we did get three v three. Thank God. Um, I will say though, one thing I want to mention is that these these people who like want to challenge another player to one v one. I will say this: if you win a one v one, it does not mean that you are necessarily a better two v two player. I gotta remember that people are much slower down here. Um, it doesn't mean you're a better 2v2 or, or 3v3 player. You gotta play the mode to your strengths. Um, so if you're better at 1v1, you know, good good for you. But, you know, if you, you can't really challenge someone and like, be like, oh, I'm better now because I beat you. That's not really how that works. I'm gonna get behind my teammate here, though. This will be a little bit slower pace because, like I said, we're doing 3v3, so um, we have to kind of gauge where we're at here. I'm pretty sure the last game was like against silver. This is probably gonna be around silver. That was a move. I like that. All right. Let's see if my teammate can get it. I'm clear down the field. See if a uh, classic gets a touch here. If not, I'm gonna try and stay near the ball here and just try and make something happen. Good try. Okay, moving behind my teammate here. He should be going up on this here. Nice. It's actually a really good pass. Like surprisingly good. Like that that was actually like a perfect little chip in mid. Like I if I was a high level player and I saw someone barreling at this and that came out mid like that, I would not expect that. Like that is actually a really good play. Obviously not intentional. I'm pretty sure he was trying to like just boom that down the field. 
But it was good of me to be ready for that. Like, be kind of near him and support. This guy's going. So if you're uncomfortable with the wall, like I said, just you can wait for this and see if this guy's going to go. Totally fine. See, I'm just playing patiently. Going for the challenge. He misses. Did he get in there? Close. I see someone on this ball, so I'm just going to wait behind. Another ball's for free. And once again, I could have beat them and just made it a clearer, uh, cleaner win, but it's all good just to be on the ball here. We go for this now. And move up the field. Close. Maybe you hold one can get it. Close. Oh. Once again, I am last man, so I'm just going to be a little patient. Now I can go for the ball here. I'm going to take this up the wall. My team is coming in for it, so a little, a little scary. I'll take the corner boost. I'm just going to loop out, at, loop out of here. There's not really any, any reason for me to be under the ball like that. And facing backwards. Nice. Good finish. So pretty uh, pretty eventful episode today. I mean, 3v3 is always going to be a little bit uh, different because you've got to play, you know, a much on the ball much less. Like, it's 25% of the time instead of 16.66% uh, in threes. And then obviously... In ones, you obviously want to have more than 50%, but that's like on average, you're going to have 50% of the possession. So it makes a huge difference. Oh. Not a good touch. And they own gold. Yeah, that was a, that was a little bit tough there. I like the, uh, the Transformers goal explosion. Wait, Messi left and then came back. I didn't even notice. Oh boy. Yeah, so I, I think that like you can tell that these players are regular silvers. And what I mean by that is that they're not like new players. Like they definitely are silver. And they have just been silver for however however much time they played uh, Rocket League. Um because there's a big difference between like someone who's new. Because you can tell these people are, these players are all reading the ball decently well. They're all following it. You can see here they're trying to make a play. Like that's not something you usually see in a new player. Like, everyone's kind of positioning wider than maybe, like... Because, like, when I see, like, really low-level bronze and silver, like, it's, like, everyone's just on the ball constantly. But they're making good rotations. I'm just trying to clean clean up my rotations behind my teammate. See if I can go with this. A little scary to be under the ball like this, but... Everybody else was reading it pretty slow, too. And the thing that I, the thing about like different ranks is the way that I just approached that ball there would be a completely different thing in a different rank. Like that would I would have been outplayed. So like yes, it works right now, but those things will not always work. So like when you when you are in let's say you're in like diamond or you're in champ and then you move up to GC and all of a sudden all of your habits that you were doing before are not working for you. Oh my god, he just outplayed everybody, including myself. <laughs> that was insane. He just like hit it. By accident on the way back. Let's see this. Oh my god. That's an ankle bite. That's an ankle biter right there. Okay. What a game. Um, but as I was saying, if you have like certain certain mentality about the game, certain rotations, certain adaptations that you that you're using in a certain rank, but then you move up and you're like, I can't get past this rank or whatever. It's because the rotations and the things that you're doing are at that rank. You're, 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 you've been playing like a champ player for months. You finally just, you know, get a, a good lucky streak of good games. And then you go into GC and you realize, like, it's way different because players are way better at reading the ball or, or way better at rotating because they're not going for plays that are really dangerous. Um, that's the kind of thing that's going to take that extra step to get uh, consistently up in a new rank because players are going to take advantage of all the mistakes that you're making or all of the decisions you're making that are going to put you in really bad spots against higher level players. Because like, if you if you have a ball to dribble towards the net, um, in bronze, it'll probably just go in if you just dribble straight, right? But then the second you get into gold, it's not going to work anymore because players are going to be there to challenge you. So it gets more and more complicated as you get higher ranks. Then uh, as you go up, you know, to champ, grand champ, or whatever, and players are there, you try to like skirt the ball around take it off target first, right? And then bring it back on target. So to sort of outplay them first, play for the boost starve, and and then find those open nets. A lot of uh, SSL nowadays is like hitting the ball around the opponents to the point where they've used so much boost that they can no longer save it because they're starved. 
And that just becomes harder and harder to score as we uh, we all get better at the game. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you and hopefully that helps you if you're trying to get to a new rank and you keep finding that you keep demoting. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.